What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. We are back playing some Pokemon Sword and Shield, hopping onto the rank double ladder with this Swift Swim Polito Kingdra team mixed in with a little bit of Umbreon and Adaptability Porygon Z team. I am hyped for this one. Thank you so much, Will, for dropping this team in my Instagram DMs. If you guys want to drop me teams, you guys already know what to do. Scroll down in the description below, hit that link to my Instagram page, hit that follow button, and DM me those teams over there, and I will definitely take a look at all teams that are sent to me and possibly use your team. But yeah, we're hopping into the ranked double ladder, trying to get some wins with this team. If you guys are hyped for today's video, you guys already know the deal. Support channel, smash that like button, clicking that big red subscribe button. Seriously, I love all you guys. Thank you so much for the support. But rocking out on this team, we got Tokus to get us started. We got Ally Switch Tokus with I Pop a Berry, Serene Grace, Follow Me, Protect, and Try Attack. Cool little moveset here. It's a little bit different, so going to be showing off a little bit of a different Togekiss here. But it does have Follow Me, and that's like a main purpose of a Togekiss, so I'll stick with it. We got Kingdra over here with that Choice Specs and Swift Swim with Muddy Water, Draco Meteor, Hurricane, and Clear Smog. It's pretty cool that it does have Clear Smog in case we do want to uh, change stats up. So maybe that can come in handy later in the match. We got Drizzle Polytoad over here. Normal thing going on with him. Scald Icy when helping hand protect. Awesome moveset for the Polytoad. Basically just using it as its ability to get that weather control. We also got Scissor over here. Technician Silver Scissor. I love that ability. Just boosts lower base powers up, such as Bullet Punch and Dual Wing Beat. We also got X Scissor over here for big stab damage. And Swords Dance to set up and get that plus two attack. Also holding that Metal Coat to make Steel moves do more damage. So Bullet Punch will be awesome. Do a little bit more damage with that Technician ability and that Metal Coat item. Then we got Big Boy Porygon Z. You guys already know about this thing. Life Orb and Adaptability. Adaptability makes stab damage do double damage so hyper beam or max strike is going to be able to do a poop ton of damage just hit like a truck this thing also has thunder for coverage dark pulse for coverage and nasty plot to set up special attack boost then in the final spot we got umbreon and i'm not even sure when was the last time i used umbreon umbreon is so good one of my favorite evolutions i just love its look it just looks amazing as inner focus so it cannot get flinched and all that good stuff leftovers actually recover some hp snarl to lower special attack foul play for nice damage we can taunt and we also have charm which will lower attack by minus two that is so big and so huge guys if you want to use this team for yourself Rental code is at the bottom of the screen. Let's try to have ourselves a good video and get some wins. So let's get rolling. Let's get it. A little bit of a mirror matchup to get us started. Both got rain teams. This guy also has the OP Boom. He also has Incinemore, Volcarona, and Magnezone. I wonder what we're going to go into. But, yo, I seriously need you guys to let me know in the comment section down below. This could be like the question of the day. Would you guys like to see me stream Fall Guys? It is the brand new game that is just like a miniature mini game battle royale. I've been playing a little bit. It has been so much fun. So if you guys want me to stream Fall Guys, definitely let me know in the comment section down below. And hit that follow button on my Twitch page. Link to that is on the description below. But, yeah, I definitely want to get back into streaming. But I'm thinking of streaming Fall Guys and just having a blast with you guys. So definitely just let me know in the comment section down below. But, who am I going to lead? How am I going to get rolling here um i kind of want to go uh, umbreon no lie i kind of want to go umbreon can't be faked out he's got that inner focus he's chilling i'm gonna go umbreon here i can always uh snarl i can do a lot of different things with him i'm gonna go umbreon here and uh scissor or I can go adaptability porygon could go adaptability porygon maybe dynamax him it's actually not a bad play let's go with that uh, i definitely want to bring scissor and then if he's gonna set rain i'm gonna bring kingdra i'm going to bring kingdra yeah Let's get it, let's go, hey, hey, let's get it, let's go. And the best part about the rain is, and having thunder on the Kingdra, or not on the Kingdra, is it on the Kingdra? Who has thunder? Someone on my team has thunder. It is Porygon Z, but if it is raining, thunder will hit 100% of the time. So that's going to be tight nice, especially in the rain. But let's get it. What you want, fool? What you want? Who you going to lead? Who you going to lead? He's going to lead the Magazine and Volcarona. Might be trying to set up a Quiver Dance, maybe going for an Alex, but something along those lines. But we're going to get out here. Uh, Do I Snarl? I'm probably going to Snarl up here. Snarl is our, definitely our best bet. They're both special attacking you. Let's get this Snarl rolling out here. Double Snarl, lowering that. And then I think we're just going to Dynamax. And Max Strike up on somebody. Oh, he might go for an ally switch. So is that the play? I might Plot. Do I Plot it up? I think I go for the Nasty Plot here. Because what do we really think they're going to go into? Maybe an ally switch and maybe a Quiver Dance? Yeah, I'm gonna go for the nasty plot. I am gonna go for the nasty plot. Yeah. Let's see what you got. Let's see what you got. Because Snarl's gonna be huge getting that minus one on both of these guys. Let's see what happens. He's gonna get rolling straight off with the Dynamax. I think he has Ally Switch going off on that uh, Magna Zone. But definitely gotta watch out for that. Roll Corona's gotta be Dynamax one, right? No, oh, Magna Zone coming out here. Okay, so probably maybe Dynamax here for this. We'll see. We'll see what's going on. Magazone does get the Dynamax. You never really see Magazone's Dynamax, but it's going to be pretty cool. Probably has that sturdy ability. 
as well, so you gotta watch out for it. You gotta be going for a quiver dance, right? Porygon Z does outspeed everything, except for if this thing does go for a quiver dance, like I'm saying, because it will boost the speed. We get that special attack boost, and Struggle Bug's gonna come out here. I'll take that all day. I'll eat that up. That's that's tasty snacky out there. Unless he's gonna double up on my Porygon. You double up on, on my Porygon, I'm gonna be man. It lowers my special attack. It's okay. Struggle Bug's working good. Snarl comes out. We're gonna lower their special attack. Get rolling with that. Now, the real question is do I Dynamax my boy? Do I Dynamax my Porygon from here, or do I just drop a Hyper Beam and save my Dynamax? Lightning's coming out here on my Umbreon. Eat up, Umbs. Eat up, Umbreon. Beautiful. Leftovers poking out here. And, um, I don't think I Dynamax here. I don't think I Dynamax. I think I save it. I think I do save it. Just keep snarling, pestering around, and, uh, maybe drop a Hyper Beam here. Take out the Volcarona. Let's see. Let's save my Dynamax for maybe one of these guys. Hmm. Definitely snarl again. That's a fact. We're definitely gonna snarl, and I'm just gonna drop a Hyper Beam into this thing. He's gotta go after my, uh, Porygon Z here. He's got to double up on my Porygon Z. Or probably go for a struggle bug and then for my Porygon Z. Let's see what happens. Every beam comes out here. And we should be able to just KO this this thing. We're plus one. Big old damage coming out here. Adaptability. Life orb. Get him out of here. Yo, get gone, kid. Get gone. Get him gone. Awesome. Umbreon should go before this Magnet Zone. And we should get another minus one special attack. Which is huge. But Porygon is out for the next turn. Porygon is out for the next turn. We took that uh, big hyper beam. And we went after it. Max Lightning coming out here. And he's going after it. Yep, he's going after Porygon this turn. They kind of saw that coming, so I was just like, let's just get a Hyper Beam off. Try to take out something, and uh, let Porygon go down here. That's fine. Umbreon's going to get a little bit of leftovers rolling here. Get a little bit of HP back. And I could Charm. I could Snarl again, depending on what he throws out. If throws out another special attacker, I'm definitely going to Charm. Uh, what should I go into here? I think I go into Kingdra, right? I'm going to go into Kingdra. Probably Choice Spec into a Muddy Water, or I might just Dynamax. This is tough. This is a tough one. This is a doozy. See what you got. Let's see what you're rolling with. You don't roll out with his own king. Okay. His own king just getting out here. Uh, definitely another snarl has got to come out here. Be snarling. And start lowering all that. And I could Dynamax. Do I Dynamax or just drop a Draco Meteor? The real question. Do I Dynamax here? Let me go check. Let me, let me go check out Scissor. Like, Scissor's moves just aren't too good up against these mons right now. So. Hmm. I think I just Dynamax and drop a Draco Meteor. Take out. Kingdra, and I'm really worried about that magazine because it's going to be minus three. It is going to be minus three. I really do not have to worry. About here goes my Dynamax. We're going to Dynamax here. Take out this Kingdra, unless it protects. But sometimes they don't roll protects. Like mine has nothing to protect with. We we'll chilling. We we'll chilling out here. Let's get it. But I always do like to have a uh, protect. I always do. It's always such a good option because that, that can win you games sometimes. Just like uh, the nice read, double protect, roll out from there. This thing is gonna protect. Yo, you little biscuit. This thing does have protect on it. That's all call there. That's why protect is so good. Wormwind's gonna come out here. Let's do a little, little bit of damage here. We'll not take it out. But still not bad. Uh, best part is this snarl coming out here. Just taking out this magazine, basically. Just taking out this magazine. Back drop for him. Doesn't really do anything. Then another snarl bopping out here. But it's good to know that we do outspeed. Oh, or do we? Changer. That's a real question. I don't think I'm too worried about that magnetism. As long as I can get rid of this uh, Kingdra, I think we should be chilling. Oh my god, dude, we're gonna eat that up. Now. This thing is minus three. He's minus three. This is why Snarl's so good. And Umbreon's just eating up, getting a bunch of HP from his leftovers. That's like three turns in a row. Get a nice little 30. We're back up in the green. We're looking pretty good here. We're looking pretty good. But Magnezone is a huge threat. Well, not really. It's minus three, like I said. So um, we're Snarling again. I'm just gonna keep doing it. He actually might swap out. But I still wanna Snarl anyway for that Kingdra. And I'm gonna drop a Max Worm one again. I do want to drop another Max Worm one. Get rid of that thing. Get it out of here. We do go first, and we can say bye bye to Kingdra. This thing's gone. This thing's out of here. Get it out my face. Get it gone. And Magazine now has to stay, and it cannot swap out because it has nothing to swap out into. So it's gonna be minus four. It's gonna be minus four. I'm not worried about that thing anymore. Just get it out of my face. Get it out of here. Snarl comes out. Yo, yo, Umbreon's clutch, yo. Umbreon's a beast. I love Snarl. That's why I love, always love the Arcanines with Will O' Wisp and Snarl. Because I can just pester around the whole match. He's gonna Volt Switch. He cannot. Oh, does he swap out? I think he does swap out. Yo, dude, that's so whack. That is so whack that that thing is able to swap out like that. There is nothing to swap out into. You were just throwing yourself back in and resetting the stats. That is whack. He's gonna go into Rillaboom. Um, I'm definitely charming that thing up. I am definitely charming that thing up. I don't need to get out of my face. I do have dual wing beat. 
I can do some big old damage with that thing. Cause it is stab. We are flying. Are we flying in steel? No, we're bugging steel. We're bugging steel. Well, still we have X scissor. X scissor damage. Monster damage. I definitely gotta get a charm off on that thing. And uh, set rain. I think that's the play. Go for a geyser over onto the. Uh... Yeah, geyser over onto Magnet Zone, and then a. Uh... Is this thing. He's gotta fake out, right? But he cannot fake out anybody, so which is beautiful. And I'm just gonna charm this thing. I'm gonna charm you up, monster attack, and then do I just airstream? I could airstream. I have another geyser and set the rain. Get my swift swim rolling and do some damage over on the magazine. Crazy guy comes out. You big old damage. And here comes my nice little geyser. Get him! Do him dirty! Do him dirty! Get some nice damage off on that thing, and we'll be able to take that out next turn. We got full speed going on here. I mean he will get a grassy guy off, which he might be able to KO me with. Kinda scary. Actually, probably not because we are charming him up. Get charmed, boy. I love charm, dude. I love pestering like this. I feel like it is just so good. I love teams like this. Yo, Rising Voltage comes out here, and we eat. Yo, that's Tasty Snacky out there. Umbreon's just healing up. Umbreon is MVP right here. Even though, I, I did I even use an attack move with him? Well, Snarl, Snarl, I guess, considering an attack move. It does do damage, but dude, we're just lowering attack, lowering special attack, and just holding our ground here and playing it nicely. He could go for an ally switch, but uh, I'm a Hurricane here. Do I do a Hurricane drop? I mean, Hurricane is super effective. I'm just gonna go for a pump, pump, pump. I foul play. I'm a foul play over on this thing. Try to get rid of that, and then I'm gonna just hurricane because it is 100% uh, 100% accuracy in the rain. Let's get a grass guy comes out. We should be able to eat this up. He's minus two. Oh, he goes after my Umbreon. I'm cool with that. Hurricane comes out. Get him. Get it. Big old damage. Show me the ducks. Show me the ducks. Spin the ducks. No ducks, dude. I never get the confusion, man. Never get it. Foul play comes out here. Umbreon says, "Get out my face, yo!" And we are looking so good right now. We're looking so good. We definitely got this one in the bag. We still have uh, Scissor in the back end if we really need him. But we're chilling here. We are chilling. You better quit, dude. You better quit. We played that one pretty well. Played that one pretty well, dude. Umbreon just... Mwah. Spicy. Mwah. Beautiful. It's beautiful, man. We're looking good. But seriously, if you guys haven't answered that question today, I really want to know. You guys want me to play Fall Guys on my, uh, on my Twitch streams. I feel like it would be a blast and you guys would just have a good time watching it. I feel like it would just be awesome. But, yeah. Let's see. Can battle was canceled. Beautiful. We got 1-0 and o to get this video started. Now we can hop into our second battle and try to get a win streak going. Okay, so we're going up against a beat-up Terrakion, and I'm kind of scared of that. I'm kind of scared that this guy can take Tailwind Advantage. He could roll off from there and do all kinds of crazy stuff. But how do I want to play this? How do I want to play this? This team just looks so strong. He has got the Wimscott, the Terrakion, the Gyarados, the Dragon Ball, Volcarona, and the OP Rillaboom. Like, jeez, man. This one's going to look a little tough for us. He might actually lead the real boom. I think I go Umbreon again. Because Umbreon is just a good little Pestermon. Um, hmm. Who else do I want to go with? Could go Scissor. Could go Scissor. Scissor actually wouldn't be bad. I'm going to go Scissor here. Um, Porygon Z. And then I think we just go Tokus maybe for a follow me mon. And keep the rain mons out of here. Just keep them out of here. We don't need the rain mons today. We don't need them. Little Froggy Boy, you can stay over there. And little Seahorse, you can, you can stay over there too. Let's get rolling with this one. He's got to be Lee and Whimsicott. That's a fact. That is definitely a fact. We got the, uh, we could go dual wing beat with our scissor and just slap it up in case it's focus sash. Just go one damage and then another hit. We can hit through a focus sash. That is what's so good about dual wing beat is it hits twice and it can just go through focus sashes and all that good stuff, which is dope. And disguises too. And disguises. So it can take off the disguise with one hit and then hit again and, uh, do a little bit more damage. But who's he going to send out? Terrakion Whimsy? Whimsy Poltsky. Okay. Whimsy Poltsky. Let's get rolling. He might trigger. Can you trigger weakness policy with beat up? I mean, you can, can't you? Does this thing learn Justified? I'm trying to think. I totally forget. It learns Clear Body, and is it Justified? It's something else. It mu no, no way it's Justified. I don't think it is. But I'm definitely uh, I'm definitely going straight into a Foul Play here. I'm definitely going straight into a Foul Play and a uh, Dual Wing Beat. Over on to you. What you want, fool? What do you want? You don't want the smoke. You don't want it. If this thing's, like, if this Dragon Bolt's physical attack, then we're going to be able to do some big old damage with this, uh, this foul play. I believe foul play goes up against uh, attack. Correct me if I'm wrong. Correct me if I'm wrong. But yeah, I feel like, uh, like obviously I still play Pokemon a good bit. Oh, he is going for the beat up. Is this thing policy or is it just fine? No, it is policy. That's what it is. Yeah, I was on it. I was wondering. So he does do that and we should be chilling with this, uh, with this one guy. I just don't want it to get off a Tailwind. I really just don't want it to get off a Tailwind. It's obviously going to go first. Things just doing damage to him. He's just teeing off on him. 
Hit him four times because of the amount of the party. And Dragon Darts coming out here. Should be able to eat up some Dragon Darts here. Should be able to eat up Dragon Darts just fine. I kind of, I like where we're sitting here. I like where we're sitting here. Not very effective. That was kind of a bad play by him. He should have went to something like harder and tried to just take out one of my mons. And we just foul play and we say, get out my face. Get him out of here. Yo, we chill him. But like I've been saying, actually, let's finish this turn before I keep going. Dual Wing Beat gonna come out here. What you mean we miss? Get out of here, yo. That's, that's whack. That is whack. We miss the Dual Wing Beat. But back to what I was saying. I know I haven't been playing Pokemon as much. I still am playing it, like, a lot. Like, I'm just not streaming it or, like, uploading every single day with it. But I feel like ever since that happened, ever since I stopped playing every day and streaming it for, like, two, three hours a day, I feel like my, like, I'm just forgetting a bunch of different Pokemon things. I just feel like I'm forgetting so much about it. But we should go into a charm. I could taunt that thing. But cannot actually go for any of those uh, crusty moves after this. But I, am, I am actually going to taunt that thing. He should be dead, which is total wax sauce. And do I go for a dual wing beat here? I'm definitely taunting that, and I could go into a bull punch. Yeah, we're going to go into a bull punch here. He's got a Dynamax to go for a justified thing here. Here goes bull punch. Oh, you get him out of here. Do some damage to him. Big damage. Big old damage. That's not Dynamax either. And he goes for the beat up. He's got to be dropping the rock side, right? He might take out with the beat up. No, he will not. No, he will not. Yeah, definitely got to taunt, taunt this one, Scott. I don't want to get off all that uh, all that other things. But the foul play was definitely in the right call. We got rid of the big old weakness policy dragon pole. And if the dual wing beat would have hit, we probably would have took out that uh, that one, Scott, easily. We would have been chilling. We would have been chilling. Just five boosts coming out here. Rock side comes out. And of course, he connects both rock sides. And I can't even connect my dual wing beat. Like, what do you mean? It's okay, Scissor. You did you did a wonderful job here. I think he's going to go down the life orb damage next turn. But I do got to get rid of that. I do got to get rid of it. Oh, I'm coming out here. He cannot go for the tailwinds anymore. But Terrakion is a rather fast mod. It really is. Do I have any Pokemon with a first turn priority? Let's see. We got Porygon, Tokus. Hmm. I cannot go in the Porygon just yet. I really cannot. This Porygon's gonna be my Dynamax mom, for sure. But I don't want him just rock rocking out with a Max Knuckle or like a Close Combat Sacred or whatever this Terrakion is holding and just dumping on my thing. Just dumping on my boy. Uh, definitely gotta go into a Foul Play or I can just Snarl. Mm. Definitely gonna Snarl. Do a little bit of damage over on the Wimscott side. And just try attack. I feel like we gotta take out this Terrakion. There's a uh, try attack over there just in case. He's going to drop a Moonblast over on my Umbreon. Umbreon's going to go down. Oh, no. Over on my tokens. Oh, he's going for that Rock Slide. Miss somebody. Can he please miss somebody? Please. Oh, my Lord. Terrakion, go down the Life Orb damage. Please just go down the Life Orb damage. Please go down the Life Orb damage. Just do me a favor. Do me a favor and die. Yes. Thank the Lord. This thing is beasting up on me with Rock Slides. Landing them left and right. Dude, if my dual wing beat would have just landed on that Whimscott, we wouldn't have been in this situation because he wouldn't have been able to beat up. Would have been fine. And it comes down to a 2v1 situation. This thing's taunted. Roll Boom comes out, and we're going to see a Dynamax uh, from the Roll Boom. But I'm, I'm, I'm feeling pretty good about this. We drop a nice big max strike here. He's probably going to Dynamax go for that uh, his G Max move. The G Max Drum solo. We're going to get after this. We're going to get after this. Adaptability is coming down close, man. We were looking so good in the beginning. We were looking so good. Especially once we hit that foul play and took out, out that Dragon Ball. I was like, yeah, yo, we, I'm feeling good about this one. And then, of course, Terrakion's coming in, just doing Terrakion things. Dropping rock slides, not missing with plus three, wasn't it? It was plus three attack. So it was just dumping on us with stab damage. It was going off. It was popping off. And it was life for boosted as well, so that's why he was doing so much. But Umbreon's an absolute tank. You see him just eating up shots left and right, which is awesome. Which is just awesome. Let's get it. Make a move, kid. You want to try faking me out? I would love for you to go for a out. He's, I know he's got to go for a Moonblast over on the uh, Wimscott side. But I'm not too worried. I'm not too worried. Um, Porygon Z might be fastest on the field. I think he might be. I mean, if he's Dynamaxing, then we are fast on the field. Because our Dynamax animation went first. We're going to do the spaz little duck. Yo, I think it's so funny when he starts spazzing out. Do it, Porygon. He just starts spazzing out randomly. <laughs> he's got a Dynamax as well, right? Yep, here goes the... Uh, Hopefully the Whimscott, but no, it's definitely the Roll Boom. That would be hilarious if he drops out a, a Dynamax Whimscott. Things just set up. Nope. Like I said, G-Max Roll Boom coming out here. Looking all sick. Has like four arms. It's not even arms. He has two arms and then like his binds are grabbing drums. Drumsticks as well. This dude's nuts. He's nuts. And Moonblast comes out. 
Built. Doing a decent amount of damage. Woman Scout always hits like rather hard for a, a support mod, you know? Here goes our max strike. We're, strike. we're gonna lower speed. Oh, big damage there. Big old damage. Big old damage and lower that speed. I don't know how much damage. He might do a good amount. This one might be over. Let's see what happens here. G-Max Drum Soul. This one might be over. Eat it, buddy. Eat it. No. Told you, Real Boom's just a beast. He's just a beast. And then with that uh, grassy terrain, give him that 1.3 times multiplier. If we would have took him out there, we would have been chilling. But, dude, that Wim Scott hanging on from that dual wing beat is the MVP. Is the MVP. One of the game. But we got one on one. We can hop to our third and final battle. Try to get a winning record. Why are we always going up against Sun Teams? I feel like Sun Teams are so good right now, and they just keep popping up on the online battle. Like last video, I feel like, didn't we verse like two or three? Or the video before that, we just been versing a lot. I know that for a fact, but this guy has like that typical Sun Team with that Charizard Venusaur, Dust Cops for the Trick Room just in case, uh, Tour Cold for the Sun, Tokus, and Incineroar. How we got this? Maybe we gotta go Weather Warner. We definitely gotta bring Politoed and just uh, have him in the back end in case we wanna switch up the weather ever. We just wanna just throw it out. Um, I think Umbreon's definitely a safe lead again. That inner focus can just snarl, do all that good stuff right there. Um, ba -bam. Definitely Umbreon, like I said. Uh, I think we go Scizor here. Mm. But if he goes Charizard, that's a little tough. If he goes Charizard, then we might just want to swap in the weather. Bring Politoed. Uh, and then Kingdra? No, let's go Porygon. Let's go Porygon here. Let's get rolling. Only want to bring Politoed just, just to change up weather and do work from there. I feel like Scizor can do work, but... Up against that Charizard or that uh, Torkoal, it's just gonna be uh, she's gonna get dumped one shot to any fire move. <laughs> but but if he does go with the fire Pokemon, I can just swap out my Scissor for uh, Politoed, and we can just get rolling from there and see how that plays out. But who's he gonna lead? Is he gonna lead Torkoal? He's gonna lead Tokus and Duskops. He's gonna try to go for his Trick Room setup. Just rather rather smart, I guess. Scissor's gonna come out here and Umbreon, which isn't bad. They drop a nice little foul play and get that get after it, all that good stuff. I could drop a snarl, whatever I really want to do. Yeah, I'm just gonna uh, jump foul play here. What am I doing? We're gonna taunt this in. We're gonna taunt you. And then I'm gonna drop. Actually, I'm gonna drop a swords dance. I'm gonna drop a swords dance here. Because if he goes for follow me, yeah. Alright, cool. He's gonna go for follow me. And he's gonna set up trick room as well. And I can kind of just bull punch as I'm plus two. Like, come on, man. Come on. Like, what you want? Get that taunt going. Swords dance popping. Go ahead, set up your trick room. I'm gonna just start bull punching left and right. Plus two with Technician, Metal Coat, Stab. We rolling here. Trick Room popping out. That's totally fine. I'm cool with it. I'm cool with it. He's going to twist those dimensions up. And we're going to get rolling with this. Uh, foul play. Coming out here. And then a bullet punch. Just getting after it. I'm not going to Dynamax him. I'm not going to Dynamax him. He might swap here. He's going to get allies with Joe. You buttery biscuit. You buttery biscuit, man. You buttery biscuit. What you mean? Bullet punch still coming out here. Doing some work. Not bad damage, yo. On a dust cloud. It's looking good. Foul play dropping. Yo, poo poo damage over there, though. <laughs> That's in clean popping. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Leave my Umbreon alone. Uh, he gets a crit, of course, on my Umbreon. And a crit on my skizzies, dude. Leave my skizzers alone. Leave me alone. Okay, so now what's the play? What is the play? I'm going. There's no way you're out switching again. There's no way you ally switch it again. Don't you do it. Don't you do it, Dust Cops. We're going to end the game if he does it. He does not do it. We read him. We say, get out of my face. There's no way you're doing it again. Tokus, get out of my face, yo. I'm sick of you. I am sick of you sitting here hitting all these crits. Get him out of here. Big old bull punch comes out. He's going to pain split up on me, which is totally fine. You're not going to get that much HP back. I can definitely bull punch and uh, do work next turn. Foul play coming out. Yay. Boom. Doing a little bit of damage, but again, I, th I believe it's based off attack. We get that nice little left over on. And a bullet punch can do a good bit. Nice little bullet punch. I gotta go for a bullet punch because I don't want him going in with a slow mon and just absolutely taking me out. Torkoal comes out. Okay, so Torkoal is gonna come out here. Uh, I think I changed the weather up and I bullet punch onto him. Do I read the ally switch? That's the real question. I think I read the ally switch here. I think I read the ally switch. Do I take out. I'm gonna take out uh, Umbreon. And I'm gonna get Politoed out here. And then I'm just gonna drop a bullet punch over onto the Dust Cop slot. Do I drop that? Hmm. What do I do here? 
Yeah, I kind of, I, I don't know if he's gonna go for an ally switch. Either way, we're gonna do damage to that, that uh, dust cops with a bullet punch. But I do need to change up this weather. The drought Torkoal is ridiculous. Actually, my Dynamax to Torkoal. He actually might, and just send a uh, what's it called? That would be smart if he he should Dynamax to Torkoal and just start going Max Flare. And he does not. He, goes, he does go for the ally switch. I kind of saw that coming. I wish bullet punch was just a normal effective move. So we're gonna be able to do some damage here. So if he goes for a number option, it will do a little bit less. So it is based off of max HP. He just go for the eruption. Okay. So Rain's gonna help us out a little bit here. And Skizzy eat up. No, like I said, Skizzy is not eating up to anything. Any fire moves, he's gone. He's out. Uh, do I get Umbreon back out here? I could get Port. This could be a good time to uh, Dynamax Porygon. No, it does not. Hmm. He's definitely going for a pain split. Might protect. And drop a foul play. Or I might double up into somebody. I think I just throw a scald out there. I think I just throw throw a scald. And I snarl up. Yeah, I'm gonna snarl here. Just start lowering that special attack, pestering around. This one's gonna be close. We still both have our Dynamaxes. You don't withdraw Torkoal. I'll withdraw my uh I'll withdraw my what's called after this. Go for the ally switch. No, I knew he was going for the pain split. But maybe we can get a burn off here? Maybe we can get the burn. Snarl comes out. No, you Lower and special attack, which is actually huge. We'll just keep pestering lower and special attack, and I think I might swap out here. I think I might swap my polydote out here. Here comes the skull. Give me a burn. Give me a burn on this thing. Give me a burn. Give it to me. Give it to me. Nope, no burn. Leftovers get popping. I'm just trying to wait out this trick room. This could actually be big. All right, so trick room is gone. He's definitely going to go for another one. I don't know what to do here. I swap Politoed. I'm definitely gonna taunt that thing. I protect. Icy Wind. I'm gonna Icy Wind, and then I'm gonna go into a taunt. I'm gonna taunt this Dust Cops up. I'm gonna withdraw Dust Cops. Oh, you little biscuit. You buttery biscuit. You buttery biscuit! God dang it. You buttery biscuit, man. Let's see what we got. Let's see what we can do here. See what we can do. Here goes that. I should have went for the snarl, man. Snarl would have been better. He's got heat chilling here. He is chilling. But hopefully we can at least get off this icy wind and lower uh, this Venusaur's speed. And then my poor guy can come out here and do some work. Some teams are just a pain to play up against. I feel like. I feel like they're just so strong. Like definitely, I feel like they're one of the better weathers, for sure. Here goes the Vine Lash. Leave me alone. How many times do I have to tell you? Oh, you go after my Umbreon. Okay. Okay, you go after my Umbreon. I'm cool with it. I thought you were just dumping on my polytone. Now I get off this icy wind. Yeet. Lower and speed up. And then Taunt's gonna come out here. But now the Torkoal cannot. Well, King, it, it's just gonna be able to do anything. It's not a support mod, it's just here for hitting and setting sun. So Taunt's gonna do nothing. A nice little read by him to actually swap out and get this going. And get playing. Fine Lash whipping on me, doing some damage. Like, leave me alone, man. And here goes my I Pop a Berry, which is wonderful. Uh, do I Dynamax? Do I Dynamax? And change up the weather on my own. Do I Dynamax and change up the weather on my own? No, I feel like I just Snarl here. And I drop a Skull. What do I Icy Wind? No, I think I still drop a Skull here. Try to do as much damage as I can. And I just Snarl and lower Special Attack here. Gotta do this, gotta... You still outspeed me? That is whack! That is so whack. You still outspeed me. Get out of my face. Get out of my face. You are minus one. Get out of here. Oh, no. It's it's Chlorophyll. My fault. My fault. My fault. I think it's Chlorophyll. So, it's double speed in the sun. Totally forgot about that for a second. We get the special attack drop. Umbreon's going to go down here to a uh, heat wave, right? Yep. Heat wave comes out. Oh, yeet. And it comes down to my boy, Porygon. Comes down to my boy, Porygon. Which, he can do it. He can do it. No lie. Still got my Dynamax with him. These guys are, well, Venusaur is minus two. Purple is minus one. The question is, who do I go after? Definitely got a Dynamax here. I think I go after this Venusaur. This Venusaur definitely wants to get off a, a Vine Lash or something like that. Let's see. Let's see how we're going to roll it. This one's going to be close. This one is going to be close because he doesn't have Trick Room up. Whoever I hit here is dead. So if I hit this Venusaur, the Venusaur's going down. 
I would have went after Torkoal. Torkoal would have went. We do big damage with Polyon. He's such a good Pokemon. Such good. Mine, dude. It's like a truck. Don't you dare, Max Guard. I'll cry a little bit. Okay, he goes for the uh, Vine Lash. I should be able to eat that up just fine. He is minus two. Venusaur is going to go down here. We're going to go next. Max Strike. Coming out here. All right, the thing is... The thing is, next turn, he has the Dust Cops with the Ally Switch. We got credit he was dead anyway, but he has the Dust Cops with the Ally Switch. So I got to watch out for that because my normal moves are not allowed to hit that thing. I'm not allowed to hit that. Do I read the ally switch? Do I think he's going for a trick room? Like, what What do I call you? What do I really call you? He's going to go for a body press. Oh, whoa, this thing body pressing. This thing got body press. So we got to get rid of that Torkoal. We definitely got to get rid of that tor Torkoal. I seriously think the only way we win this game, I seriously think the only way we win this game is if we get rid of this Torkoal right here, right now. I think he actually might protect. No, he's got this in the bag if he protects. But I read the ally switch. This is tough. This is tough. He's either going to protect, go for a trick room, or he's going to ally switch and go for the body press for the win. Mm. This is so tough. I say I go after this slot like this. I say we do this. What are you going for? What are you going for? Here goes Alex, which I knew I should have. I knew I should have max strike over on that slide. But we got to hope this takes out. I don't know if it's going to take out. I really do not think it's going to take out. Can we get it? Can we get it? Oh my lord. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We get a crit. Oregon, knock it off. Knock it off. We make the nice call with the ally switch. We make the nice call with the ally switch. And this thing is minus one on special defense. Oh my lord. Oh my lord. We gotta take it out this turn. The Vine Lash is gonna take us out next turn with that, uh... We do have... Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Come on, Pori. Go! You gotta take him out here, Pori. You gotta take him out here. Do him dirty. Do him dirty. I am a god. Let's get it. Pori Gon Z clutching it up. We go 2-1. Big plays by your boy. We would have went down to G-Max Vine Lash damage, but we pick up that win and get that winning record. One last shout out to my boy Will for dropping this team. Yo, I absolutely love it. This is a team that definitely resonated with me. I played very well with it. I love the Umbreon. Like, Umbreon was my favorite Pokemon on this team with the Snarl, the Taunt, the Charm, and the Foul Play. Like, I love Pokemon that can pester like that with the special attack drops and the physical attack drops. That's why I played so well with it and got a couple wins. But, guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out, everyone.